Oh, goodness gracious. So, so setting up the house, home staging, video, videography, video, and photos. Um, let's talk a little bit about that today when it comes to selling your property. Yeah, what are some tips for staging a home to appeal to buyers? So I think one of the, the one of the things we always have to take in, into consideration when we're at the shore, when you're when you're staging properties for buyers, is that you know does it have that shorey feel to it? Is when you walk in, is there that beach feel to it? Um, or is it just like, you know, is brown, dark hardwoods, your kitchen cabinets are you know, this deep earthy color. Um, don't know how much that's going to be appealing to someone when they first walk in. Always remember this. When you're, when you're staging a property, when you're doing your photos, when you're doing your video, when, when people open the door, when they come into your property, it's a wow factor. It's like, oh my God, this is it. I can't believe it. It's, it's the first impression. Whether you're meeting a human being or you're walking into a property, it's the first impression that you're going to get when you walk into a, pro when you walk into a condo, single family home, whatever you're walking into, it's your first impression. Um, so the staging becomes, you know, like at the show at the shore, knickknacks. You know, wh what kind of knickknacks do you have in and around your property? without it being overwhelming. There's a fine line between that, oh my God, there's so much beach stuff in here. Like this, this, this is cluttered. Then, then it becomes, then it's like, it's not appealing to the eye, you know? So you kind of have a little bit of a fine line you have to walk there um, when it comes to how much beach knickknacks do you have? What type of beach decor do you have, you know, in your property? Um, you know, furniture wise, you know, am I walking into a property that has a chair over here, a uh, TV up on the wall, um, a kitchen table with, you know, four chairs around it. There's uh, it's a three bedroom. So I walk in, each bed has a frame, bop spring and a mattress on it and uh, a comforter over it. Like that's what I'm walking into. Like, I don't know how appealing that is to the eye. Am I walking in and there's a sofa and a love seat, chair, uh, maybe a couple of lamps. Maybe you have some uh, life guide chair lamps or something like that. You've got you have a couple of mirrors, maybe like a dolphin mirror or something up on a wall. You've got some Koshki's things and up in the in the kitchen above the cabinets. Um, some really sharp colors when it comes to wall painting. Um, your hardwood, you know, you've got you know hardwood floors, or maybe you've got some L L you know luxury vinyl flooring. You're going into the, you know, you go into the bathrooms and you've got, uh, you know, there are shower curtains or, or, you know, maybe it's tiled all up and, and all that kind of stuff. It's very modern looking in your bedrooms. Everything is done to the nines. Your, your comforters have beach themes to them or lighthouse themes, something to that nature. Um, there's just enough in your eye that it's like, wow, this really feels, this is beachy to me, you know. Um, and that's, you know, that's, that's a, that's a hard line, it's a tight line to have to walk because you can get over the top and then it's cluttered and like just way too much. Um, or you just have it where it's, you're better off just having the house be empty. Like it's new construction yeah. and let the person walk in and let them be the maestro and paint it, you know, or whatever, you know, Picasso and they can paint the picture that they want of how they want the property to look. Yeah. So from a staging perspective, I think that that's, that's always important. I, you know, when, when we have some properties that we sometimes have to stage, like, uh, is there, are there spots in, in a house that may be bare? It's sort of like you, you kind of walk in and you're like, you know, what was, when, when they built the house, like, what were they thinking about with this space? Like, 
like you know, it's like it's not a it's not a den. Like you could throw a desk and like desk and chair and something like that. They like make it an office. It's just sort of a space. It's just kind of there. And it's like, okay, what do I do about that? Because it, it, to a point where it sometimes when a buyer comes in, no matter how great it looks, it's like looking around, looking around. But what's that? And so like you know, you have to, you know, what's something you could do there? Can you put some sort of a bench, maybe a mirror, uh, or some you know some sort of sort of wall art or something like that? There's just sort of fill that space but without making it feel like it's just clutter or you're just throwing something there so those are sometimes some things that we have to take a look at like with, with homes and, and whatnot of filling you're filling a void you, you're just you're filling a space of you're not really too sure why it's why it's even there um you get that a lot of times sometimes with like real long hallways and it's like you're being it's like you're in a bowling alley you get that a lot like if you're in a condo and like you're in a middle unit there's a wall on either side of you, and it's just, you know, you're walking down the hall, and it's bedroom, 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 bathroom in the middle hall, and the first bedroom is a master, so it's a bedroom, master bath. You come out, and it's bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, closet that has the washer dryer in it, living room and kitchen. Like, what do you? But what do you do to dress that up? Like, let's get some, let's get some artwork up on the walls. You know, make sure that the paint colors are bright enough so that it's just not this dark. Because really, quite if you're a middle unit, there's no windows in that hallway. You're walking down an alley. Really, it's like a bowling alley. You're walking right down the bowl. So you want to make sure that those are light. What's the lighting light and things to like that? And you can you enhance that a little bit too. So those are always just some things you want to look at when you're staging it. You want to make it appealing. I've, you know, I think a lot of this is also your preference. This is my preference. And like I know this particular one is my preference, and there there may be people out there, agent specific, that may say, you know, dude, you're dead wrong. I'm not dead wrong. It's just my opinion. And last time I checked, I was pretty damn successful in selling homes, so it kind of works. When you're at the shore, how and you're at the beach, we talk about family, and we talk about wanting to build these memories with your family. And you walk into you walk into a home, you walk into the living room, and I'm going to preface this with it's not cluttered, okay? But there are there's pictures of grandparents with the grandkids. You know, I don't know. There's like five or six people in a photo. You know, guys and gals in a photo and. Everything has to do with the beach, You're sitting in the beach, They're underneath an umbrella and all this kind of stuff. And all that that is, is they're just memories over 25 years, 20 years of this family that own this house and the memories that they built. And they're just stages. They're just flashes of when they were there. And someone has said to them, take that stuff down. That's personal stuff. Well, if I walk in and I'm a buyer and I've got, you know, I'm looking to, I want to create memories, you know, for my family that I've got, you know, when I walk in, what better way to capture that than when you walk in and you're like, wow, wow, look at this. I mean, you know, how many times you're standing in a, in a, in a place when you're, you're showing a property and the people, they start, they're not picking it up, but like they're pointing at it. Wow, man, this, this must be the, this must be the grandparents. They own this. And wow, when was this picture taken? Like on the beach, all this kind of stuff. And then there's a photo over here on the boardwalk of this person with it. And like you're seeing the different stages of this of of the people that own this property and and the memories that they built. And you all of a sudden you're putting yourself in this house. Well, if you're an if you're an owner, and you're an agent that says, "No, take that stuff down. It's personal." You've stripped that away from that house. When in essence, if you leave the photos there, you're showing everyone, you're showing the world that comes in to look at your home, the memories that you've built and what they'll be able to build in that same home. God, like, shoot, that, that's an easy sale. That's easy. The house is selling itself. That's just my opinion. I think that when you have that kind of stuff up there, that speaks volumes to the buyers when they walk in because they see what somebody else has already done there and they want that same thing. So I think with some of the stuff when you come with, when it comes to decor and stuff like that, it becomes what are they? You know, what you, what are you looking for? What are you trying? You know, what are you trying to sell? What are you trying to accomplish with the decorate? You know, with the decor that you have in that property? Right. You know. Um, yeah, I think uh, 
I'm just gonna make like a, a comparison. Like when when somebody buys a you know like a sports car, like a Ferrari or something, mm -hmm. they're not just buying a metal and, and plastic, but rather they're buying something that they want to give them some sort of uh, emotional f uh, kind of feedback in in the future. Right? Sure, and and that is what a home out here in such a beautiful place that can make so many memories is going to create and so i i mean i know it is an opinion but i do agree that uh if you're looking prospectively for a home and you see that these memories have been generated for the previous owners sure thing very enticing 100 like, oh, that can happen for me as yeah well. <laughs> hun yes that can happen for me too or just like it's just fun look at the fun that these people had when they were here like it's just yeah, it's it, it it draws you in at some point in time. You're you're putting yourself where they are. Yeah. Um and that's that's a powerful, powerful thing to be able to do. And pictures can do that.